Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to episode 29. Today we have a quest, we have death claws, we have expansion, and more. So stay tuned for everything. Okay, we have a dweller at max endurance. Uh, that will reappear momentarily uh, with a little max star above the head. There we go. Uh, so we will need to get that dweller moved into another training room. Uh, in the meantime, let's collect all of our skills and everything that we need at the beginning when we first log into a play session. It's always the same. Get all of those resources collected and all of the rooms done. Let's move her up to strength. There we go. And again, collect our stim packs, Radaway's power and food and then start the process of leveling up those who need to be leveled up. So Wasteland gear to increase the amount of health that they get, and then back into the outfit that they were wearing. Although for this one, we can actually put on either the ghost costume or the handyman jumpsuit. It both gives agility plus three. Again, back into here. So we've got an armored vault suit, swap over, level up, and put that armored vault suit back on again down to the power room we've got some battle armor again we want to put on the high endurance wear and switch back over to the battle armor okay nice and everything is done and dusted do we have any additional strength wear no we do not so oh, yes we do actually strength two but perception four uh, now you could potentially put that power armor onto that person uh, but their strength is actually already fairly high and let's get another outfit crafted as you can see there are still lots locked but we do have rare outfits uh, but what we're going to be looking to do is probably some more military fatigues uh, seeing as our power rooms we do have a lot of people that are still in their vault suits so there we go now we do have two additional dwellers as well so we are going to hit population of 70 and unlock the garden now the garden is the next food production facility uh, but first let's go off and do the quest okay so this is in the bottle and cappy series and we're searching the poseidon facilities uh, for more signs of bottle and cappy and of course once you complete this series Bottle and Cappy will visit your vault, and when they dance in rooms, you can click on them for caps and Nuka Cola Quantums. Uh, so it's very worthwhile pursuing the Bottle and Cappy uh, quest series once you are able to do so. So you need to be a high enough level because it is challenging. The last boss can be a, a bit of a, a squiffy one, especially if you're doing survival mode. Survival mode, uh, if you go check out my survival series, you will see that I lost an entire squad. Uh, of quest goers uh, trying to do the bottle and cappy series in survival mode because the difficulty is amped up significantly uh, in comparison to this a standard playthrough so if you want the extra challenge go and watch my survival series and get yourself started with another vault which is in survival mode okay we have a glowing uh, glowing ghoul here we need to focus fire so click on the dweller let's do that again click on the dweller then click on the glowing ghoul the other two are already shooting at him so that's all we need to do uh, this guy's getting irradiated like a crazy person and again health is going down very very rapidly why would you move come on deploy your assault shotgun combat shotgun oh that's okay flamethrower killed him right now we just have the remaining ghoul and a lot of radiation damage to deal with uh, as I said, these missions are hard. If you're doing it in survival mode, they are brutal. Okay, that's handy. We've got some endurance wear. So we can uh, flip over the outfit, use a rad away to get rid of the radiation, and then level up. There we go, back into the ghost costume. Again, same with this chap. So Jeffrey gets the outfit, gets a rad away, and then gets leveled up easiest way of doing it okay pursue further into the quest we've got one more floor up and i think we have three or four floors down so there's only two up there's more down that's why you go up first and then go down afterwards where it's always the way i have done it anyway okay we've got some mole rats uh, we've still got one person with radiation there so let's uh, get rid of that don't necessarily need to give the stim pack just yet do we have any corpses Hey, it's the first room that we've killed stuff and actually had a corpse in this quest so far. Loot also has not been particularly joyous in this quest, but it is what it is. And we'll carry on, get everything cleared out, get everything collected, and then head back to the vault. Again, uh, caps-wise, we've had almost nothing. Uh, let's see if that corpse... 
So if you come out of a room, this is just an example by the way, so out we come, you cannot collect a corpse. Now you can collect shiny uh, when you're not in the room, but you cannot collect corpses. So let's send them back into the room, and you're, we're now gonna have to wait for the third person who's clearly made it to the elevator. Okay, in they come, it starts glowing again, now you can collect it. Well, that was worthwhile, it was a rare piece of loot, it was a teddy bear. Okay, onwards and forwards. Let's uh, give a stim pack to that one because the health is getting a bit on the low side. And it's three, so we have three more floors to uh, go through. So it was two up, three down, that's why we went up first. Now down we go into the guts of this building, into the basement, and let's see what we find. Hopefully some cabs, because currently we have like none. Which is fairly disappointing for a quest, but hey hey, it is what it is. The end goal here is Bottle and Cappy, and that's all we care about. Okay, are we going to get a corpse? See, no. No corpses. This uh, this quest does not like me at all, and the loot fairy has basically gone on holiday. Okay, we do have critical hits, but there's not point in using them when they're nearly out of health already. Uh, so we'll wait uh, until we have a nice juicy target to use it on. Okay, two more radaways. That's handy. Again, there were no corpses. Uh, let's uh, kill these ghouls. In fact, might be worth using uh, the critical in here because the ghouls... Are... No, no, we've killed them all. Okay, there we go. I spoke too soon. Uh, there's one to go. Uh, he's going to die very rapidly. And there we go. Any corpses? Again, no. And an outfit. Okay, so as I said, the loot fairy is most definitely on holiday and is not giving me anything that I need. Okay, again, more ghouls, ghoulie ghoulies. Okay, let's get these guys killed, and let's use a critical this time. So try and get the uh, green in the middle. Now, the higher your perception, the slower this goes. Triple damage, nice, instant death, basically, and the other guy's dead as well. But we're back, get, oh, we got a corpse. Hey, finally got a corpse. And we are getting radiation damage, as you can see. And again, the health is coming down, so in this room, we will go with the non-combat option uh, rather than the combat option. So I don't want to fight, I'm just looking for Bottle and Cappy. You do have the others, which will get you in a fight. Uh, have you seen Bottle and Cappy? It's a fairly generic one, so you might not get combat there, uh, but the choice is yours. You can either try and fight the four ghouls, or you can be nice. Okay, so there we go. Perhaps I've misjudged you. The Raiders you want are headed for the Robco building. We've got some duct tape and finally some caps. Okay, 443 caps. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, we've got a few more. And we're up to 685 caps. Nice. Although it's still less than a thousand, so it's not that nice. Okay, shiny in the corner. We just accidentally leveled him up. Oh well, it is what it is. And we've got some shiny in here, a rare blueprint, final room, and we can head back to the vault. Anything interesting in here? The answer is, yeah, we've got some mole rats and some shiny. Now, quickly use the critical, because it looks like we've built up a collection of them, and it's the last room. And there we go, we got it used. Any corpses? No, don't be silly. And we've got an extra rad away. Okay, so rad away per person, and their health is so high, not necessarily to use the stim packs. So we haven't left any shiny behind, haven't left any corpses behind. Let's head back to the vault. Okay. So here we are back at the vault. Uh, let's collect our resources and carry things on. Okay, so again, as the vault gets bigger, the resource collection does become uh, a bit more time consuming as you go through all the production rooms. And again, we've got some people that need leveling up. Uh, so, endurance wear, level up, and put them back into what they were wearing. Could actually have put the uh, vault armor on there, because it's perception 3, rather than perception 2. Uh, but again, it's up to you. And let's get these guys into the vault. So, that's population 69. We've got one more. Oh, they've got agility. That's good. Let's put them into an endurance room as well. And here we go. As discussed, we have unlocked the garden. So, Garden, this is your next food production facility, and it does cost 1,200 per room at the base level, and then of course you have to upgrade, and we've got mole rats. Okay, let's send from above and below, two from each, 
and see if we're able to uh, catch them before they migrate because they will migrate into the room above and below or to the side uh, let's see no our guys are in there and they're shooting that's always a good sign so the mole rats should stay where they are now let's get some additional people in there so we've got six in total and let's get these mole rats quashed again might as well upgrade this guy while he's there there we go endurance wear back into your military fatigues mate you keep making power while our guys are dealing with the mole rat infestation uh, it might be worth upgrading the gun rusty lever action rifle does more damage again as you progress you want to remember to continuously upgrade your guns of your dwellers as you can uh, because the initial guns that you would have given them will be quite bad and uh, ineffective as uh, you develop through the game okay some food to collect lovely stuff and again somebody else to level up so endurance wear level up and back into the battle armor okay right we've got 40 seconds until that production room is finished we are a bit low on the power side uh, so we'll wait for that to finish or 6,000 to upgrade as you can see it's not cheap uh, we only have three and a half thousand caps at the moment, so we can't upgrade the room, but that's okay. And uh, we will be finishing this play session and skipping on to another play session in the next minute or so. And by the way, this episode does run to about 28 minutes, so it is another long episode. Okay. I think what we will do, is there anything, uh, oh, we've got some more power to collect, more power to collect, although Mr. Handy collected it, there we go. We're topping up a bit further now, so not too bad. Our resources are at a fairly decent level, we've got somebody else to level up here before we skip forwards. So again, endurance wear, level up, and put them back into the outfit that they were wearing. So armoured fort suit, more power to collect, there we go, and some caps as well, which is always nice. And I think we can leave this play session where it is. Or should we do a rush before we go? Yeah, let's do a rush. Okay. And it's going to fail. Oh my goodness, it was successful. With a run of luck I've had, I expected that to fail. Okay, well on that note, while we're on a high, let's skip to the next play session. Okay, skipping forwards. And... Uh, let's collect that power first and now let's skip forwards okay play session number two and 120 caps 87 percent happiness we have another two dwellers in our radio room because we left it enough time we've completed our military fatigues and again everyone has skilled up and more importantly we have somebody else who has maxed out their endurance which is good okay let's get all those skills uh, collected and again, we've got max endurance on this person here, so they're going to need to go somewhere else. So actually, to be honest, any of their other skills, uh, doesn't really matter which. Uh, so what I can do is put them in for agility or perception. Okay, perception has resulted in swapping someone around. I didn't realize that room was full. That's fine, as long as the person that we've swapped for doesn't already have max endurance, and I have a sneaking suspicion that they do. Okay, some sturdy raider armor, armor piercing 10 millimeter. And some Minutemen living quarters fragments, nice. Okay, not too bad. We're getting closer to unlocking a theme, at which point we will build the theme workshop, uh, which I do believe is 12,000 caps. It's not cheap. Um, Right, let's put back into, uh, there we go, sports fan outfit. That's what the person was wearing. And again, somebody else to upgrade, so level up even. So endurance gear, level up, and back into the officer fatigues. And let's get our new dwellers. And in fact, what I'll also do is we will rename this dweller another one of the names that I have on the list of people to be added to my vault. So Zachary Fisher is going to become Danny M. And just so you guys know, we still have James Green, Jordan Jones, Tignor Chanda, uh, Frollo Hagen, Zachary Lynch, and Kinagami, who have not yet been added to the vault. So don't worry, I do have your names recorded. I just haven't added you to the vault yet. And here comes a Deathclaw attack. Okay, get ready for the crazy. 
Now, there's no point in uh, worrying about uh, getting someone to your vault door because um, they smash the door instantly. So unless you've got two dwellers on guards, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whenever you get Deathclaw attacks, your vault room door is pointless. Uh, you can't get their people quick enough because the Deathclaws just smash the door down, basically. Okay, so let's try and get some better weapons equipped. We've put our guy into this room uh, with the flamer so he can do some additional damage. And basically this time the death claws will get down to the diner, uh, but they won't get any further. Whereas previously they got much deeper into the vault. Uh, the reason for that being that uh, everyone now has either better guns or has been leveled up more. Uh, so shoots uh, quicker with agility so remember agility is what allows the fire rate although within the shelter it doesn't really make a difference it's just endurance okay again the death claws are being held up by mr handy we'll get our flamer guy in there get him busy no nope, he's not going to even get a chance to fire okay let's try and get him into the next room basically chasing the death claws our guys are working busy but we still haven't killed a single death claw yet uh, which is not surprising. I mean, these creatures are brutal. If you played Fallout 4, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're not an easy creature to kill off. And we still have three currently. Are we going to see any die? Let's try and upgrade some guns again. Lever action rifle. Okay, too late. They're already moving on. Down they go. Smash through the lift shaft and into the living quarters there's no one in the living quarters and they come into the food production facility so what we want to do is drag some extra people into the lab uh, so let's get that person dragged into the lab so that as they move on there we go one death claw dead in fact two death claws dead and this one should go down in this room as i said we only go down to the diner level this time rather than down to the next power level and dead so we are exactly where we want to be lovely stuff it was a bit quicker in getting those uh, death claws killed but again this has been a fairly unlucky playthrough when it comes to powerful weaponry uh, we don't actually have a lot of powerful guns if i'm being completely honest okay let's get julia put in doesn't really matter where so just dump her into a training room uh, right, let's have a look at these people. Do we? Ah, yes, you are very high on strength. So let's get you into a power room or move you to additional training. That swapped somebody else over. This is beginning to get a little bit silly. We've got high perception here. So let's get this person put into a water treatment facility. And now we have spaces to get this person added to a training room. Okay, so let's go with uh, da, 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 da. let's go with agility. There we go. Okay, and we've got power to collect, and we are very short on food. So we will get to vault expansion very soon as well. Okay, right. So again, level up with endurance wear, not uh, raider armor. We want wasteland gear. Oh, now we need to collect the resources, level up, and put back into the ninja outfit that was being worn, because that is agility plus four. And we've got somebody else that needs leveling up, so again, into endurance wear, so the wasteland gear, back into the uh, handyman jumpsuit, and onwards and forwards. Okay. Now, this uh, episode has been, let's see if we're, this is going to fail. Yep, see, there we go. I'm back to my bad luck streak. Um, this episode has been a labor of love for me. Um, it's taken me over 10 hours uh, to get to where I am in the point of recording now due to uh, issues. And uh, the, it has been a painful process, but I wanted to get this episode out to you guys. I know it's a day going to be a day late, um, but it is what it is. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, unfortunately, um, I think I am getting to the point where I may need to upgrade my PC. Uh, is what it is, uh, because always you have the fun of when you've had a PC in a rig for a long time, you've got all the data transfer and everything else that is not that much fun, which is why I don't want to do it. Okay, let's turn these guys into a power armor squad. So T45D for uh, this guy, and then what we'll do is we'll go through the equipped power armors, 
because we haven't got any other spare. And we're going to turn these guys into a power armor squad just because it looks cool when they're out on quests if they're all wearing power armor. Especially seeing as uh, Halloween is well and truly over and distantly behind us seeing as we are now in December. Okay, so T45F and T45D, so and another T45D. So T45F, this person doesn't have a pet, there we go. And the next one that doesn't have a pet is the other T45D. So pop that on and we have our squad of power armor, nice. So everyone has power armor on this quest, which gives lots of additional perception, which means when you get your criticals, they are much easier uh, to do. So let's go to our inventory and now sort out the correct outfits for the people that we've swapped over. So here we go, this is the other one that got the ghost outfit. Uh, doesn't really matter actually, to be fair, could put these guys in a vault suit, yeah? Because they're in the perception training room, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, close, and again, I think we're at the point now where what we can do is uh, start thinking about expanding, because we do have five and a half thousand caps. Let's do a quick rush on uh, the food room. Yay, successful, nice. Didn't fail this time, that's always nice. And it does mean we are getting uh, that food bar full back up again, which is handy, because it did get quite low. And as you can also see, it's moving more to the middle now. Uh, so water and food are more to the middle and power is still to the left hand side. You always need to pay attention to those vertical bars because that is demand versus production. So the demand is your line and the production and how much you're able to store is the total length of the bar. Uh, so whenever that bar moves, starts moving towards the right hand side of your uh, storage capacity of resources, that's when you not need to start thinking about building an additional production room. Because you either want that bar at the middle or to the left. You certainly do not want it to the right hand side because as I've said in previous episodes, as an example, if your power runs out, your production rooms will start shutting down, which then means you can't produce food or water, and it's a vicious cycle. Uh, the same with food. If food runs low, people will start to lose health, and if water runs low, uh, basically it, they'll be drinking irradiated water instead because the water isn't treated, and they will start taking radiation damage. So low food is losing health, low water is radiation damage, and low power, your rooms will start shutting down, which of course is a dangerous one. Hey, 175 caps from the mysterious stranger. Nice. Not a jackpot, but still free caps are free caps. So let's uh, get rid of that rock and start thinking about the expansion as we move towards the last few minutes of this episode. So diner, as I said, our food was the thing that was moving. Now look at that little bar with each room that we build. It moves further to the left hand side. And that is exactly what you want. Now the problem is we need to find some people with agility uh, to populate it. Well, that's handy. So Sarah's got very high agility. So in she goes on agility seven. Um, mm, nope, needs to train a bit longer. Needs to train way longer. Also needs to train longer. Uh, okay, that is actually agility. She's maxed out endurance, but let's put the ghost costume on and agility is her forte. So let's put her in there. Nope, that is someone with, wow, lots of strength. Uh, we could actually give her a gun as well, would be an idea. Uh, what do we have? Uh, scope 4-4, there we go. And we could get her into a power room as well. Uh, let's put her in the one over there. Ah, oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, it is what it is. Okay, we've got somebody else without a weapon as well. Agility is completely maxed out, really, with the outfit. So again, that's somebody else that can go in there. Let's keep looking. Okay, so that's somebody else who's got agility. So again, we can put a ghost costume on, and that increases endurance and agility, and get them added to the diner as well. So we've got plenty of people in there now. Our food production should be fairly fast. Oh god, and we've got rad brooches. Okay, come on, go. Run before they spread. Before they spread like wildfire. Oh, I've got a feeling these are gonna spread. Come on, just move those just in case. Nope, nope, they've got in, handy. Okay, we'll add them to that room instead then. There we go. Don't know how many people we've added now, but uh, I think that's six. <laughs> We'll get it dealt with. We'll get the rad roaches eradicated. 
Not irradiated, eradicated. Okay. Come on, guys, get in there. Fire away. Squash those rad roaches. There we go. Job done. Nice. And I think that puts us in a fairly good position as we approach the end of the episode. Oh, we need to collect the water now. Level up and put back on the outfit. So again, scroll down. And there we go. Wasteland Medic. And again, food at the moment. Uh, obviously, we haven't got it full, but it is way over the production line. Let's give it an upgrade as well. So we might as well upgrade it to level 2 for 500 caps. It's fairly minimal in cost and it increases the production and as you can see the storage bar increased even further uh, because of the food storage and the bar moved even further to the left well slightly so we now have uh, the bar is almost at the same place as power which is good and the next thing we're going to need to do is of course build more water uh, because water is approaching the middle although water production is a lot easier to manage than food and power so in difficulty it probably goes power, then food, and then water is the least difficult to maintain. Okay, looking good. Our vault is looking good. Everything around is looking good. We've still got 4,300 caps. Uh, there's some more leveling up to do, so let's get this guy leveled up. Again, he's already max endurance, which is fantastic. Back into the military where... There we go. The 87% happiness is also because we've got a lot of people that have got max endurance and uh, lower secondary skills. Now, the reason that that doesn't mean they don't necessarily always have 100% happiness um, is because endurance is a room skill. So uh, there are certain rooms that require endurance. Storage rooms being one of them. And from memory, also the Nuka-Cola uh, bottling plant requires endurance. Okay, again, this person hasn't got a outfit, so we could... No, there's not really anything there for them. Okay, just put them in formal wear and dump them into a power facility at some point. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are approaching the end of the episode. There's three hours until they get to second stringers. Could do reach now, but we're not going to because we're near the end of an episode. And all it leaves me to say, as always, of course, is please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. I'm Know It All Gaming. Until next time, see you there. Wow, it was successful. Hey, it didn't fail. How surprising. But until next time, see you then.